Well, we're here to um, revisit the, reintroduce and revitalize the uh, African American Trail, but we're also to highlight this incredible um, plantation that tells a painful story of slavery in Louisiana, and also talk about our next uh, adventures on the Civil Rights Trail. All of it plays a vital role in the history here in Louisiana, and um, not only this facility here for tourism and the Civil Rights Trail, but also to recognize those heroes and those painful stories uh, that have never been told. So it's a great opportunity to bring all those cultures together, all the people that work so hard on this uh, venture uh, as we move forward, both in the Civil Rights Trail and the African American uh, Heritage Trail. Uh, we discovered so many things that didn't fit in the timeline of the Civil Rights Trail on our ventures around the state, but need to be told. Well, we're gonna also have an educational program, much like Homework Louisiana and Uniquely Louisiana, which we do through our library system that can be downloaded at school or at home. Uh, you'll be able to learn everything we've learned right there at home on the computer or downloaded in classrooms. And that's an important, important part of this, to tell that story and hear it from the mouths of those people that are still alive that lived it, like Leona Tate. And we just recently lost Dr. Jones, but we were able to put that marker up, see him put his hand there and cry to finally be recognized. Uh, just incredible moments. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do while we still have a lot of those people alive with us that we can hear the story from their mouth. Across Louisiana, civil rights markers have been uncovered and put on permanent display. From Camp Beauregard in Pineville to Baton Rouge's AZ Young Park, from Little Union Baptist Church in Shreveport to the Lower Ninth Ward in New Orleans. It's been a long time coming. A dream come true. I have been dreaming about this so long. Never thought it would happen. The fight for civil rights throughout Louisiana is teeming with stories, demonstrations, and at times painful events that are now embodied in these steel monuments. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser was inspired to create the Louisiana Civil Rights Trail after seeing a presentation in the U.S. Civil Rights Trail at a tourism conference in Arizona. Um, he told me about three years ago that he noticed while many southern states had their own Civil Rights Trail, he was embarrassed to find out that Louisiana did not. And what began back in 2019 with an idea by Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser has now manifested into seven markers across the state, with many more planned. We will continue to put them up as quickly as we can build them. And it's not going to be just for tourists. And there will bring tourists, busloads, as they come through the trail of Alabama, Mississippi. But it will also tell a story and we will pr produce an educational program that can be downloaded in schools, in churches, and at home to tell this incredible story of heroes. These markers came on the heels of more than 20 meetings and listening sessions from across the state. Countless hours of research, as well as more than 3,000 miles traveled to hear residents recall stories, places, and people that were on the front lines of Louisiana's efforts to create an environment of equal opportunity. I'm glad he started here, and I just want him to realize that it's more Bob Hicks out there, and we're dependent on him to continue what he has started. We're very appreciative of what the Lieutenant Governor has done. I thank him for putting us on the trail. Uh, that'll draw the visitors, and I, I'm really excited about that. I thank him so much. But kudos to uh, Lieutenant Governor Nungesser for this effort. It's the most substantial one over the last three decades I've been engaged with. And I've been engaged with all of the efforts to try to honor the African-American experience in Louisiana. And so this is substantial. And now on display for all to see and learn from. If you'd like to nominate a site or to learn more information, visit LouisianaCivilRightsTrail.com. It shows there's a real interest in all, both of these trails in this facility to learn that history and to make sure that uh, we, we honor those people 
that made a difference in America.